Hi, this is Mike with Designs by M, and today I wanted to show you how to assemble the graduation um, gift card or money holder from Dreaming Tree. I will leave links in the description box below for where you can get this free file. So let us begin. The first thing that I did was I had my machine use the draw tool and my pens to write out the congrats. You definitely can do a print and cut. You can use stamps. You can have it write anything you want or stamp anything you want. Um, I put congrats because we are making this graduation. But if you left the graduation cap off, you definitely can use this for any other type of gift holder or money holder that you'd like. So this basically is going to get layered onto this. You can use dimensionals, I am just going to use my glue. I am using Scotch Quick Dry and I just put it in this little tiny bottle just to make it a little bit easier to handle because otherwise I'll be using this big bottle and I don't know, it just seems a little bit easier to use a smaller bottle when you're working on smaller vials. So we will center this, all right. Sometimes, because I used ink here and I don't want to smear it by rubbing my fingers across it, I might just turn it over and press down on the opposite side so then it doesn't smear. I'm really notorious for smearing things, so we'll put that aside. I do have my gold piece that I embossed already. Embossing is optional, but I did go ahead and do that. And on here, you probably can't see it. On the camera I'm trying to get this in there for you there you might be able to see that there's a little right top hand corner there and then there's another one right here let's see looks like you might be able to see that and so this piece fits right into those corners like that so let me go ahead and glue this piece on and again, you can use dimensionals. It doesn't really matter. I'm using my glue. Put a little bit more than normal because that is kind of, because I embossed it, I have some raised areas. So again, I'm going to match that with the bottom left and the top right. That looks good to me. And again, I'm going to turn it over and just kind of press down so I don't smear it. There we go. I'm going to let that dry. And because this is a gold foil, it's going to need a little bit longer to dry. So we'll throw that to the side. Put these away. Put these over here. All right. So now comes the fun part. So this is the main structure. Okay. This is the way that it comes off the mat this side up. So I am going to flip it over and I'm going to fold the sides in and I'm going to score them with my little score tool. I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to fold this up also. So I'm basically just folding it in like this. Okay. This piece gets folded up. So we're going to fold this piece up. And this piece gets folded up, so it gets folded in. So all my pieces will be folded in like this. If you can see that, they'll all be folded inward eventually. Okay, so let's make sure these are nice and crisp because basically we're going to put glue on these two tabs and we're going to fold this over just like that. So let's go ahead and apply some glue. Right there. Apply our glue there. This one gets put just like this. All right. 
So basically when it's done, I'm not gonna pull it because it's still drying, but you can put your money here in this slot or you can put a gift card using the uh, cutouts right here. I don't wanna pull too hard because my glue is still drying, but I'll show you in a bit. All right, so let us work on the front. So you will notice that there is a hole in this piece and you will notice there's a hole in this piece and you will notice there is a hole in this piece. All right, so basically the first thing that we're gonna do is line this up. Now this gets lined up across the top and you're gonna want to make sure that your hole is centered. I don't think you can really see, but your hole will be centered and it will be along the top and you'll have equal amount of distance on the side and the bottom. So let's go ahead and glue that. And I'm gonna add a little bit more than normal just because again, I embossed this piece. And so I've got some bumpy edges and I got some indented edges. I just wanna make sure this sticks. So I'm kind of using a little bit more glue than I normally would. All right, because I'm using glue, I do have a couple minutes of wiggle room. Let's move that up here. Okay, great. That is where I want it. I got a little bit of glue. You can probably want to be a little bit more gentle with your glue so it doesn't spill out all over the place, but it's okay. So we got that there. I already went ahead and I put some uh, adhes uh, dimensionals on the back. So I want this to stick up a little bit. And we will just align that up here, just like that. And this piece goes under it just like that. So it fits like that. So we will go ahead and take these off. And apply that right underneath there. Kind of like that. Push that down, push that down. And the last thing is my little mini brad and I have my tassel here. Let's see if I can do this. So I will push this through the hole. It will come out the other side. And you just need to use your fingernail or something to pry it open like that. I probably shouldn't have used dimensionals on here because kind of sticking out a little bit but there you go quick and easy so you can open this up you can put your credit card in here or your gift card in here just like this you can put money in here in this pocket here and it's ready to go quick and easy all right Thank you guys for joining me today and have a great day.